For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got my favorite video of the week, and that is my update video. They released a little bit early today, which is kind of nice, considering they usually drop the update right before uh, Thursday Night Football. But since there is no Thursday Night Football, it feels like they did this a little bit early. Uh, today is just going to be a player ratings update. I was hoping that there might be like a, a patch to report on, uh, because last month they did a December 6th patch so i was thinking maybe they'd have a january 4th patch since it's close to a month uh difference but um it's just player ratings today which is fine because the pro bowl uh rosters just came out last night so it looks like they got a lot of changes so i'm really excited to, to do this particular uh list uh before i do as always if you guys want me to continue this make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section other than let's go let's get right into it now i said last week that i i'm waiting for either travis kelsey or Patrick Mahomes go down a point, but it doesn't look like they want to change anybody rated that high. Today, though, the highest rated players that went up a point or down a point or changed at all were Lamar Jackson, who at the moment looks like a shoe in for MVP. He's now up to a 97 overall, which is pretty crazy. That's the highest he's ever been. I think the highest he might have been a 95 in the past, but he's about to be a two-time MVP if I had to guess. And he's now topping in at his highest rating at a 97 overall. If you look at some of the other players that are also rated 97, guys like George Kittle, uh, Jalen Ramsey, uh, Max Crosby, uh, Nick Chubb. These are all really great players. TJ Watt. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with all of these ratings, but at this point, if Lamar Jackson gets his second MVP, it's kind of hard to argue that he isn't, you know, getting closer to that 99 territory or 98 territory, which is going to be an absolute nightmare considering he's already the fastest quarterback in the game at a 96 speed. But definitely agree with that ratings boost. I'm not really sure if I agree with him getting MVP, though. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think because the last two uh, MVPs, uh, I mean, he got MVP a couple years back, but he led the league in passing touchdowns that year. He had like 36 touchdowns. He also broke the record for 1,200 yards rushing as a quarterback, which was a record. And a lot of stuff he did that year that he's not doing this year. You know what I mean? It's like he's having a good year. But statistically, it's not matching the win-loss ratio. In reality, they're winning games to me because of their defense or because of their run game, which he's a big part of, obviously. But uh, his stats just don't really line up with what I expect of an MVP. I think a guy like Christian McCaffrey might be able to get it. or you know, It's pretty much a quarterback award, which is probably the only reason he's really getting it. But I think there's several guys that are more deserving, guys like Josh Allen or... Uh, you know, who has like the most touchdowns in the league. I mean, there's a lot of guys that really could compete. This is one of the years where there really isn't a clear-cut MVP, in my opinion, anywhere. But I still think Lamar Jackson will probably get it because he's the quarterback on the best team. So that's probably how it'll go. Uh, another guy that got another plus one, and Lamar Jackson got a plus one last week. And I think Jesse Bates got a plus one last week too. He got a plus one recently. He's, he's all the way up to a 97. Just made the Pro Bowl uh, as the starting uh, safety. And, and like I said, I've been saying for a while, I think he's the best safety in the game. I catch some Atlanta games here and there, and he's an absolute beast. Uh, Sauce Gardner got one of the biggest jumps. He got a plus two up to a 96. Kind of strange to see him get a plus two. I don't know what he did last week, but obviously he's a really great player. A.J. Brown went down a point, which I don't necessarily understand. It's not like he's been playing poorly. I think they just wanted to match him with, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like they want to tier guys, and I feel like he's pretty much on the same tier as some of the other guys that are also rated 95. So his awareness went down three points. His catch went down a point. I don't think any of that's really, uh, you know, I don't think that's earned. He's like third in the league in yards right now, so I don't know why he would go down at all. But, yeah, he's going down a little bit. And I think it's to match guys like Stephon Diggs, who's a 95. But I feel like the real reason they did that is so that they could put CeeDee Lamb ahead of him. Because CeeDee Lamb is leading the league in catches. He's second in yards. And I don't know. I don't understand why they couldn't both be on the same tier. I don't think CeeDee Lamb's like head and shoulders above A.J. Brown. But at the moment, he's definitely playing better than A.J. Brown. Everybody's playing better than the Eagles right now. So CeeDee Lamb went up a point to a 96. And A.J. Brown went down a point from a 96 to a 95 which, you know, I'm sure we'll see a lot of Eagles players dropping because that's kind of the point uh, where they're at in the season, where they're just not, they're not that 93 overall rated team anymore. They're just, they just don't know what they're doing. They can't, they can't win a game to save their life. So continuing forward, Tristan Wirfs got a plus two. He's up to a 93 overall left tackle. I thought he was a right tackle too, by the way. I didn't even know that he was playing left tackle this year. But uh, definitely uh, a good player. Some of the young tacklers like him and Panay Sue have been moving up all year, and they definitely deserve it. Antoine Winfield Jr. went down a point. I think it was just last week he went up a point, and now he's down a point, which I don't really understand. I think, isn't that the guy everybody was saying he should have made the Pro Bowl but didn't? I'm not really sure if it's him or the guy from the Giants, uh, Xavier McKinney. But either way, that doesn't make a ton of sense. Frank Ragnow up a point. 
Uh, he's the center for the Lions. He's went up, you know, quite a bit all year. I think he started the year at an 88, so he's now up to a 93. So that's a three-point raise. Jair Alexander, another guy that EA likes to, to dock uh, from time to time. Started the year as a 95. He is all the way down to a 91. I still think he's a pretty darn good corner, in my opinion. Joe Mixon, up a point to a 91. Not really sure uh, what he's done lately, but he's up four points on the year, which is pretty good because I thought his career, you know, how running backs get spent so quick. I thought his career was kind of on a downslope, but I thought that maybe he would, you know, prove himself to be spent this year, but it really didn't turn out to be the case. Uh, Josh Allen, defensive outside linebacker for the Jaguars, not the quarterback. He went up two points this week. Another guy's been raising all year. Started the year as an 85. I'm looking back at some of these, uh, you know, overall changes throughout the year just to see if they match up because a lot of these guys um, have had some pretty serious movement. Uh, Chider uh, Traverius Ward, cornerback for the Niners. Probably the best cornerback for the Niners, for sure. He started the year at an A7. He's now up a point to a 90, uh, which is definitely a good, um, you know, he's a really good player. Wouldn't surprise me if he gets a superstar and X-Factor at some point, because I think he's kind of reaching that area. Daniel Hunter, down a point. I'm not really sure why. I'm pretty sure he's still in the league leaders when it comes to sacks. So I'm not sure why he went down a point for it, because he's still one of the best players, uh, one of the best edge rushers in the game. He, he made Pro Bowl, too. That's the thing. I would expect some of these ratings to, uh, to be adjusted based off the guy that made the Pro Bowl, uh, but he didn't get nothing there. So I guess I guess the Pro Bowl doesn't help out at all. Uh, it's pretty interesting to see a guy like um, Justin Simmons, who's had a monster year, just made the Pro Bowl as well. I think he's starting for the AFC, if I'm not mistaken. He get no love. He's down two points from his initial launch rating as a 92. Looks like he's going to finish the year as a 90. Had a Pro Bowl year, had a monster year. I think he's like top five in interceptions. I'm not sure, though. Don't quote me. But why has he gone down two points? What has he done over the course of the year to lose two points? Which, you know, makes no sense at all. So I guess I'm not just looking at some of the guys that are reported. I'm looking at some of the guys that I expect to be uh, rate their changes, you know, raised and change and hasn't. Uh, Andrew Thomas went down a point, left tackle for the Giants. Another guy started the year as a 92. I don't need to make Pro Bowl, but I don't know. You know what he did to, to necessarily drop in rating. Alignment are tough to judge. Uh, DJ Moore up a point to an 89. Started the year as an A6. Had a Pro Bowl caliber year. Will probably make it as an alternate at some point. I'm sure somebody that made the Pro Bowl um, will will drop out or get to the Super Bowl or something like that. Uh, he should make the Pro Bowl at some point. Uh, Joel Batonio up a point to an 89. Another guy, one of the best guards in the game. Um, it was as the year started too, but for some reason he's down a night from a 92 to an 89 over the course of the year. Like I said, I, I thought he was pretty good, uh, but whatever. Khalil Mack, who had a really strong year at his age, a Hall of Fame player, he gets a one point boost, uh, which is you know, he's up four points on the year. He started as an 85, so I guess that's something. Matthew Judon, another edge rusher, down a point, uh, he's back to his original rating as an 89. <laughs> so, you know, another really good player. Like I said, I don't necessarily understand some of these ratings changes. Rashawn Slater, up a point to an 89. Another really good young left tackle. Like I said, a lot of these uh, young edge uh, players, a lot of these young tackles really been getting a lot of love. He's up four points on the year from an 85 to an 89. Continuing forward, like I said, I'll go about halfway. Hayden, Aiden Hutchinson, who's had a really strong year. I think he got an X factor about halfway through the year or something like that. He's up two points. I don't know what he did last game. I think he had a couple sacks, actually. I was watching that game. But uh, he's up on the year from an 81 to an 88. Uh, former, was he a number one pick? I know he's like a top three pick. I don't know if he's a number one pick. Uh, but he's up to an 88, two-point uh, boost this week. And I'm pretty sure that he was going against uh, Tyron Smith, maybe. I'm not really sure. But I know whoever he was playing against, he was making him look uh, way worse than they did all year. I think that, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that he was going against Tyron Smith, and I think that that's the type of game where Tyron Smith might have been docked a point because I think he had a couple sacks. C.J. Mosley up a point to an 88. Uh, Cooper Cup, who's been dropping like a stone all year, he's down last two weeks alone. He's down four points. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there because he started the year as a 96. He's all the way down an eight. It's an eight point drop. A lot of it due to injury. Uh, a lot of his, you know, I think he's actually doing pretty good statistically since he's been back. But what do I know? Uh, David Njoku, who last week, just last week, I said this guy is playing like one of the best tight ends in football. He made the Pro Bowl and he's up to another point to an 88. Two weeks in a row, he's up a point. Uh, out of the last four weeks alone. Excuse me, five weeks. Four of the last five weeks alone, he went up a point. So he's definitely, uh, you know, moving up the board fast for the people that like to play with the Browns. Hassan Reddick, another guy. After he had, he had like a two-sack game and went down a point, well, he's down another point. So I don't really know what to, to make of that, but he's down an 88 now. It's not like the guy's not playing good. He made the Pro Bowl, too. He's got, I think, at least 11 to 12 sacks. Still dropping like a stone because they're just, I think they're just butchering the Eagles, you know, rating at this point, which I guess I kind of agree with considering how they're playing. But I don't think that the players they're targeting necessarily makes sense. Harrison Smith down a point to an 88. 
Uh, you know, that's guy's been playing a long time. Joy Marlotta went up a point to an 88. I don't know what he did to go up a point. He's another guy who's been up and down all year. Uh, he's only one point up from his initial rating. Uh, but overall, you know, like I said, I, I expected him to hurt more Eagles players' ratings than anything. Bobby Wagner made the Pro Bowl, also lost a point. Good call, EA. Down to an 87. Only two linebackers, I think, made the Pro Bowl uh, for the NFC, and he was one of them. But for some reason, they dropped him a point. Cameron Jordan also lost a point. Thought he was having a pretty good year. Like I said, a lot of these things, I don't know if their reactions off of something that happened recently. I really don't know. Tariq Woolen, up a point. Here's another guy. I think he started the year pretty low. I mean, I don't know why Sauce Gardner, who's very similar in my opinion, gets all this rigs love. He's already up to 96. But a guy like uh, Reek Woolen here is only up to an 87. He's only he's only jumped four points throughout the course of the year. Can't really understand that either. Um, but still going up. I mean, he's still a really good player. Uh, Christian Wilkins down a point to an 86. This is about the time that I'm probably going to End this video. Drake Greenlaw up a point to an A6. Greg Newsom up two points to an A6. Kenny Moore down a point to an A6. A lot of a lot of really good uh, a lot of really good movement. Teron Johnson up two points to an A6. So a lot of lesser known players, but I try to stick to like the higher known players. Tyler Lindebaum, I think he might have made a Pro Bowl this year. I'm not really sure. I think he did. He's up a point to an A6. And Derek Stingley, another young cornerback who's been uh, moving up in the world. He's an 85 now. Started the year off as an A7. So an eight point jump. For that cornerback, Houston definitely had a big year uh, jumping up. Jonathan Jones up two points as well. Isaiah Pacheco up a point, both 85s. Rizal Douglas up a point. One of the bigger ones, Sam Cosme, went up four whole points uh, guard for the uh, for the for the Washington Commanders. He's up to an 85 now. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a high riser right there. I'm not sure. Let's see what he started the year at. I have no idea who this guy even is. He started the year as an 87, so he's up, um, you know, massively as well. It's an eight point boost. So a big year for him. One of the big names that really jumped up a lot too was Kyron Williams, who has, you know, really good year for the for the Rams. He went up three points. Here's a guy who I think he was drafted last year, started the year as a 65. This guy here has to have the highest rating jump of the entire season from a 65 to an 84. That's a 19 point boost for a guy. And he probably deserves to be a little bit higher because he's one of the top running backs in the league. So um, definitely a huge jump. Um, maybe he'll get more in the future because the season's not quite done yet and they're going to play in the playoffs. So he still has opportunities. But uh, really, a uh, really big jump for him. Jameson Williams up a point. Another guy, Russell Wilson, dropped two points to a 75. I mean, he didn't do that on the field. He got benched because they didn't want to pay his contract. But he's had a really good year, and somehow he's down on the year. I mean, realistically, like he's had a statistically good season. He's not the reason that that uh, that, that um, the Broncos are bad, but for some reason he's starting the year lower than than last. Than he start or he's lower than he started the year, which makes no sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want me to continue this type of video, as always, please make sure to be subscribed, hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.